Recall exercise 540, where we determined the voltage across the inductor as a function of time after switch closure. There is a transient term with a time constant of quarter of a second, and a steady state sinusoidal term with a frequency of two radians per second. Sometimes we're only interested in the steady state sinusoidal term. And we have a technique for finding it, which is easier than finding the total solution. This technique requires a sinusoidal source, resistors, capacitors, and inductors, and no switching. This technique is called steady state sinusoidal AC circuit analysis. Steady state sinusoidal AC circuit analysis requires phasers and J omega domain impedance. A phaser is a complex number that represents a sinusoid. The phaser transform of A sine omega t plus B is the complex number A angle B. The J omega domain impedance is R for a resistor, J omega L for an inductor, and 1 over J omega C for a capacitor. All three have the same units of ohms. This exercise is similar to 680. The switch has been removed. The circuit is in steady state. Transform of the voltage source yields a complex number. The impedance of the resistor is R. The J omega domain impedance of the inductor is J omega L. And using the voltage divider rule, the voltage across the inductor in the J omega domain can be written. Substituting numerical values yields the complex number. And the inverse phasor transform provides the final solution. If we ignore the transient term from the total steady state solution, we have found the steady state voltage across the inductor using phasor transform technique.